So Luffy left the frying pan and entered the oven. That's pretty much what happened in this chapter. To kind of explain, Luffy goes from a situation of fighting Katakuri, and then now he's in a situation where he's running from Big Mom and also a bunch of other Big Mom pirates, a, a bunch of people a part of her crew. So Luffy's in an even dire state than he was before. Now, in some ways, you could say he has it a little bit more balanced out because obviously Katakuri isn't there, so Luffy's not having to worry about someone that could, you know, see the future, see many, many seconds into the future and, you know, predict what you're going to do. He doesn't have to worry about that. But still, even though he doesn't have to worry about that and he doesn't have to worry about someone knowing about his time limit, Big Mom is ridiculous from what we've already seen demonstrated by her. I mean, let's look at what happened to the Sunny and Nami and all of them, okay? Big Mom... She was on the water, okay? Yes, walking on a sea slug or riding a wave, basically, but even then, it just shows how far Big Mom would go to bring someone down. And in this case, I don't know which is worse. Fighting Katakuri, which can predict your moves, and a man that is very calm now, he won't allow himself to get angry or upset, or fighting Big Mom that's like a powerhouse truck that you just can't even stop. Like, you can't even stop it. If you even try, it's not going to stop it for long. You're just going to get completely ran over. So, Luffy, I don't know which is worse for him right now. But anyways, though, let's kind of talk about something that made me kind of giggle and laugh. Kind of like a kid. Now, as I said yesterday, I made a video. And I think many of you by now most likely have already saw it since I've been rather busy today and you haven't actually seen a video uploaded. It's probably going to be very late when you see this late in the middle of the night. Better late than never, as I always say. But as I said yesterday, I've been re-watching One Piece. And since I've been re-watching One Piece, I've gotten to experience that One Piece vibe once again. Like the love, the passion I had. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love One Piece. I love the series. I love the manga. I've loved the current events of this arc. It's been absolutely amazing. However, I forgot how much I truly enjoyed this series until I went back and rewatched some of the things. The beginning of the journey. What started it all. And now that I'm in like the Sky P arc about to finish that, just being able to understand once again some events that's happened prior to this arc or the, you know the second half of one piece or the, you know the new world it allows me to appreciate some of these scenes and just i'm allowed to just really enjoy certain funny moments especially when luffy sees brule and he looks at her and he just starts smiling i'm like i can imagine this in my head with the voice actors and all that as soon as luffy looks over he's like laughing looking at her smiling and brule's like no <laughs> and she gets grabbed and dragged into a mirror that that made me laugh that made me that made me laugh, and so I, I was just enjoying myself, When I saw that scene, I was like, okay, that's probably one of the greatest moments of this chapter, easily one of the best moments of the chapter, just because of how that was done, and I will say, yes, it was definitely one of the best moments, personally for me, because seeing Luffy just, you know, he's running for his life, he's like, <sighs> he, he's running, this, this man can't use hockey or anything, he's straight up worn out, I mean, he's he's really bad off right now, like, he's running, and then Dr. Curry's right on his tail, he knows Luffy's on a time limit, 10 minutes, that's a lot of time, especially against someone like Dr. Curry, can't use hockey, that means he can't fight back and even hit this man, but on top of that, can't use gear four, so overall, Luffy was a bad spot as he's running for his life and all that he turns a corner he looks and he sees really right there she's just she her face her, her face the way it was done like go back to the chapter and look for yourself but her face it was just like an utter shock like at first she's like huh and luffy was like huh and then the face he smiles at her luffy just like smiling and then realizing no <laughs> he grabbed oh that was great it, it's so nice to see moments like this when like it's obvious that it's kind of like a, a plot device, or in this case, it was just a, it was out of nowhere in a way that Brule was there to help out Luffy out of the situation. It's a, I guess in a way, if you look at it critically, it's a standard shonen thing. However, even though it is a standard shonen thing to kind of save the main character at the last second, the way it was done was just perfect. I, I, I really can't even complain whatsoever about the way it was done because it fits the mold of One Piece. It doesn't break any logic, and Brule being there also makes a lot of sense as well. I mean, let's think about what we've already seen 
thus far when it comes to her character. I mean, in recent chapters, she was sitting there hyping up, being like the hype man to, you know, Kafka Curry, like, you know, this man, he doesn't lay on the ground, this man is always sleeping straight up, you know, this man is God itself, basically. That's what Brule was basically doing, hyping up this man so much, and she's also been sticking around, we know she's been paying attention, and most likely with her being in the mirror world, she was probably watching Nut Island to see what was going on there, and that's probably why she was there. She was paying attention to the fight, but also paying attention to whatever Big Mom was doing to kind of see what was going on and transport anyone if someone needs to be transported. So, it makes sense why she's there, but it's obvious it's a standard Shona thing, but like I said, there's no problem whatsoever because the way Oda did it, I I'm perfectly satisfied and fine with it completely. Anyways, let's talk about the Gear 4 state, okay? So, I, we all know, we've been looking forward to seeing how Luffy stacks up against Katakuri in Gear 4. Now, we already know when Luffy used Gear 4, it wasn't that effective against Cracker. I mean, it's effective, but not that effective. And it was obvious because of the type of person Katakuri was that Luffy was probably not going to have that good of a time fighting him. And that definitely did happen. Luffy... He tried to fight, he put up a decent fight, but Katakuri still was just a lot stronger. I mean, we even see a glimpse when Luffy's going in, you know, he's using Gear 4, he's using Kong, he's going in to punch this man. He actually parries Luffy, like he goes in and just hits this man on the side with his, like, donut and then puts hockey on it and hits the man. So, in a way, you can look at what Katakuri did at the beginning of this chapter when he was fighting Luffy... He was using his own version of Gear 4. I mean, he wasn't bulky like Luffy. He wasn't using, like, you know, his body. But he was using, like, separate sections away from him, like the donuts he made, and then controlling them and making fists out of them to punch Luffy. So, you could assume what he was doing right there was his own version of Gear 4, which is very cool when you take a moment to actually think about that. Anyways, getting off of that, let's talk about the situation with Big Mom. So... Besides, you know, entering into a whole new area, for instance, Big Mom we know is a big issue, we also got to admit that Luffy probably is in good hands, because if he can find a mirror, he can be scot-free, he's fine. If he can get a mirror, get in the mirror world, and then go somewhere else, he'll be completely fine. And so, he has a lot better odds right now than someone against, like, Katakuri. Like, him fighting Katakuri, that's bad odds, because Katakuri, he's almost impossible to fight. So, right now, Luffy's in a better state. Even though he's weakened and tired, he's in a better state, because all he needs to do is find a mirror. He's fine. He just needs to eat some sweets, too, because there's a lot of candy and stuff around him. He's probably gonna have to eat a lot of candy if he needs to, but he's in a better state. So, I'm looking forward to seeing where that section goes. If I had to assume anything... I want to assume if he does not find a mirror, he most likely is going to somehow navigate Big Mom to come probably towards where Sanji and them are, if I had to assume anything. But anyways, let's get off of that. Let's talk about the stuff with what was going on with, you know, the Sunny, Nami, and all of that. So, they are now basically there. Big Mom has stopped. Everything is fine with them. And I want to point out something. Nami's design in this chapter, I really like it. And, you know, I don't really talk about this a lot, which is very strange. I think I really started to notice it when I started paying attention to the anime recently, when I started rewatching it. I noticed that there's one good thing that Oda always does. It's that he really, really takes the time to give our characters very unique designs, like clothing and stuff. And I, I for some reason, don't mention it that much, which is kind of sad. It's very sad, but I want to mention it now. I want to make up for the lack of mentioning it. The design of Nami in this chapter, especially the way her outfits have been, it's very nice. And I just want to praise Oda for that. And speaking of art, I want to talk about that final panel, okay? Now, I wasn't the one that actually discovered this. I just want to do a brief FYI. I was, I knew it was something similar to it. Like, there was a panel, and it reminded me of something, but I didn't know where exactly it was from. But I was, uh, you know, told through social media where it was from. And what I'm talking about is, is the final panel with Sanji. You know, when Sanji has that devious face on? Well, apparently, chapter 876? I think, I think that's, it's either 878 or 876. It's one of those chapters. There is an ending panel to where Sanji is making the exact same expression. Now, many might look at the panel, if you go back and look at, you know, the exact chapter number, when you look at this panel, many of you might assume that it's a replica. Oda just copied that final panel and then pasted it into the final panel of this chapter. However, that is completely incorrect. Incorrect. You couldn't be any more wrong. Oda has stated he does not like to copy things. He redraws even flashbacks. So in this case, 
I want to give props to the man, not just for character designs, but also once again showing that he is willing to go so far to redraw certain faces if he must. I mean, he doesn't try to go the easy way and copying an image and then pasting into a new chapter. This man redraws everything, which is just much respect, a lot of respect to the man just for that alone. So, last thing to talk about. I guess let's talk about the situation. So Sanji's situation, the cake is done. They got the like the actual cake. They got the whip like the whipped cream or whatever. That's completely finished. The chocolate and all that. Everything is completely finished. So yeah, that means that we're making progression. Luffy doesn't have to hold off too much longer. If he can overall, you know, find a mirror, get out of there, he will be fine. But for now, though. The cake is finished, and we might be reaching the end of this arc very soon. Probably in, if I had to assume anything, probably 10 chapters. 10, 15 chapters at the max. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you felt about this week's chapter of One Piece. I want to go out of my way and say I apologize for the delay in this video. I know many of you probably were looking forward to it earlier today, and it's very late at night probably. Probably 12 o'clock at night, maybe 1 o'clock in the morning when you're seeing this. I just want to apologize. Please forgive me. Been a little bit busy, and so yeah, I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.